So imagine for a second that you are a fitness YouTuber and you've been creating content for many years. Uh, you're an original gangster of the YouTube fitness community, but you've started to run out of ideas. You've already said everything you've wanted to say and it's been a few years and you really are just struggling to come up with content ideas. What do you do? Well, there are three things that most fitness YouTubers do and I will share them in this video. The first one is going to be just repeat what you said before. If you did a video on bench pressing before, do another video on bench pressing. Just take your old content and repackage it and do it again. If you've been making content for five years, you should have plenty of content to actually just repeat again. Now, at first glance, you might think that this is absolutely horrible and a waste of people's time. However, you have to realize that as a channel grows, new people come into the channel and a lot of them won't actually see the content from before. Most people don't actually go to a channel and look at the content from one year ago or two years ago or three years ago, even if it's really, really good. Furthermore, you have to realize that the lifespan of a video, it spikes in the first week and then it basically flatlines. So chances are people aren't really viewing your old content and saying it again isn't necessarily the worst thing in the world. I was watching a video by Alexander Bromley and he said, oh, I've been making content for a few years now. I have lots of content, but I'm just going to keep saying the same things because the big basic movements and the big basic concepts of programming, of diet, of nutrition, of everything are going to be what are most important. So I think repeating yourself and really hammering those basics isn't necessarily a bad thing. Second of all, you can delve into the minutia. You said what is 90% of what is important. Now you focus on that 10%. So you focus on the little bits of science that might not actually matter, but you can still talk about them endlessly. Some channels do this. I'm sure you know a few. You can create new exercises. Do your bicep curls like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. There are a freaking million ways to do bicep curls and you can make a new video every single week on biceps curls and they'll all do really really well because people love biceps awesome. the third thing you can do is talk about people and current events so if someone's name is in the title or picture is in the thumbnail it's going to get a ton of views and people will click on it and your channel can grow if you look at greg Doucette probably half of his videos are talking about other people. This is just to grow his channel and it's not necessarily a bad thing if you do it in a classy way. I also assess other fitness YouTubers and I don't think it's the worst thing in the world. This is basically an endless stream of free views because people click on it at a very high rate. You can also talk about current events. Is there a new training style, a new diet, a new fad? There is always something new in the fitness industry even if it doesn't fucking matter, okay? There is nothing really new about training or diet that we've discovered recently. And if it is a discovery, it's probably really, really small and meaningless. But we could talk about it. So if you're consuming content on YouTube fitness, realize that it's actually regurgitated and the basics, or it's minutia that probably doesn't really matter, or it is something that I forget, but I'm about to say. Gossip, something that probably doesn't really matter at all, but lots of people click on. Now, no YouTube fitness person is ever gonna make this video because it reveals that everything is either repeated or meaningless. Everything. It's either repeated or meaningless. All right, that is all for today's video. Pretty short one today. Tomorrow is gonna be, or maybe the day after, is gonna be a very, very long Q&A. It looks like it's gonna be at least 50 questions maybe a whole lot more as well. So it should be a, a pretty good amount of content for all of y'all. So I'll see you in that next video. Peace. By the way, if you're content with my content, drop me a like as it helps pay the rent. You can also watch one of these cool videos on the screen. They're right there on the screen. You can see them on the screen.